Welcome. I wanted to make this video to talk a bit about why I'm offering this class on the power of practice. It's a two part offering. There's a 90 minute free class and then a four week class in which we can really dive in and immerse. So as a person I am, one of the things that's really important to me in my life is connection with spirit. It's something I just want. I want to feel it. I want to trust it. I want to be in this flow and feel um, that I'm in a cooperative experience in my daily life. I'm not saying that's a, a better or a worse way to be, but that's my preference. And so most of my practices are organized around that. And for years, my primary way of connecting with spirit was to open my altar in the morning in a very clear ceremonial way involved reaching out to each of the four directions, sensing them and asking them to come in and making clear requests, you know, based on my relationship with this direction, here's what I would love to have your help with today. And this practice really served me. It really met my need for a container because you create this very clear container for your life and for boundaries and for clarity around what I'm doing inside my space today. And it met this need for connection and a very explicit ask for help. Like it felt like it always brought me to clear humility. I'm not here on my own. I am asking for help. And in this way, um, this practice was really working for me for years. But as we do, something was evolving. And I began to receive insights that I needed to look at this fundamental practice and be reflective about it. And so I started to examine how am I feeling when I do this practice? What core beliefs are here embedded in this practice? And as I did that with kind of guidance and space holding from my own healing guides, I began to feel that there was baked into this practice for me, not for everyone, a deep unconscious belief in separateness and my separation from spirit. I felt, um, I felt that I was like leaning into and living into this belief in my badness and that I needed to ask for help from spirit who is good. And would they please save me and rescue me from my um, sort of problematic intentions and problematic instincts. And there was this belief there that at my core, my instinctual self is not connected to spirit, is separate and um, and therefore doesn't have the benevolence and the goodness and the love that is spirit. And so this practice I realized was actually affirming and every day I was practicing separation. So I began to ask the questions, what would my practice be as someone who is love, who is power, and whose spirit wants to help, and whose spirit believes in, and whose spirit wants to see empowered and using my power. And it began to feel quite different quite quickly. There were a lot of changes that happened, and um, it became much more of a physical practice grounded in the subtle sensations in my body. I began to notice the vibrations and the energies that would come into my body, the ways I would feel my helping spirits come close and, um, and bring support and love. And it was like this experience of being buoyed and um, like a pot of water, but as it's just starting to simmer, the sense of like a rising energy and my whole system was affected by this very significant difference. So I began to bring this kind of inquiry to my other practices. And I began to look at meditation, for instance. And I was called to ask, you know, what am I wanting here? What's my intention? How do I feel? What needs is this meeting? And 
that kind of inquiry became incredibly fruitful in meditation as well. And I began to bit by bit revise and update my meditation practice so that it was built upon the very foundation that I most wanted. I wanted the felt experience of connectedness to spirit and a deep presence and a kind of um, calm, peaceful, open-hearted engagement with what the subtle sensations in my body moment to moment. And so from that intention, I was able to build a practice that brings me that. And I know that I can go to that practice and I will receive that. So this has been a couple years now since all of this started and I'm ready to share with anyone who's feeling interested in doing this uh, inquiry process together. I'm ready to share what I've been learning and to hold space for a group to do these two things, to look at what is serving you in your current practices, what is not serving, and where might there be any of these experiences that come out of subconscious beliefs, whether it be separation or anything else, um, that are actually baking into your practice and baking into your life beliefs that you don't want to go forward with. And the second piece, like we don't want to stop there at just this like critique of what I'm doing. The next piece is really the bulk of the class. And what I want to offer is a process by which to feel into our values and priorities for this coming cycle, northern spring into summer into fall, etc. And what we can be practicing that will give energy to our priorities, that will bring us a full heartedness, that will bring us a resourcedness and clarity. What can we be practicing physically, emotionally, relationally, mentally, spiritually? And I want us to have an opportunity to connect to our values and our choices and our priorities and really those desires that come from the soul. What are we wanting and longing for? And then to build from there with the help of spirit. And we've also been given a really fun protocol for how to work with spirit allies to help discern um, and sometimes these practices will be kind of new and like fresh for us. And sometimes they'll be very much classical practices that exist in the world. But how can we create a few, don't need too many, a few practices that are really the right timing and the right match for what we're wanting to create and to live now in this cycle? So I am really looking forward to being with this group that forms as you build up your practice life from this place that is at its core, self-love, love for your own priorities, love for your energy, love for your heart and commitment to give energy to that which you love and we make spaces for yourself to to nourish your ability to love the ways you want to love in this year. I think it's going to be quite an honor to meet all the guides and to experience all of this uh, spirit information that comes from your own spirit and from your helping spirits. All right. So in the uh, description of this video, you can see where to register for the 90 minute free version and the four week version. And please let me know what questions you might have about this. I am wishing you very well. I will see you there.